Since moving to a more minimalist lifestyle, I thought I would try and infuse that with the way that I pack for any of my travel trips. I wanted something very aesthetically pleasing, but very practical and functional. So I went with a bag from Modocker, and there's more than meets the eye. I packed a towel just in case. It should be warm, so I'm packing two pairs of Bermuda shorts, and just in case it rains, some regular skinny jeans. Then I threw in three regular t-shirts. And I can't forget my hotel shorts. These are only to be worn in the hotel. It should be warm, so I'm packing four dresses, and they could be worn up or down, so that's why I really like packing dresses. I'm packing two sports bras for more active days, like when we're doing ATV and when we're doing our tour, and then four regular bras. This bag has side flaps, and on this side flap, I'm stuffing eight underwears. Just a rule, always shoot for more underwear over less. You'll thank me later. And then some socks. This front flap is gonna house my pads and my tampons. Um, sorry if it's TMI, and also my deodorant. Very, very important. If you thought this bag couldn't get better, well, it does. It has a designated shoe compartment, which is pretty nice. And on the opposite side, I put my passport, and a little later, I'll put my wallet as well. And it still gets better. When you're all done, the bag zips up on all sides to create an actual bag. Then all you have to do is zip it up on the top and voila, you have your bag. This is my camera bag, the Low Pro BP300AW. It opens from the front, which I actually do not like. I would prefer it to open from the back. This is my main camera. Okay, it's not my main camera. I'm filming with my main camera right now, the Canon 60 Mark II. But let's just pretend that this is the camera. Um, and let's just put this like right here. This is where I keep my main lens, but I'm filming with it, the Sigma 24 to 70 f2.8. But let's just pretend that it would be in here. But even when it's not, I put in my lens caps just to I don't know, just keep them. So let's just put this in this little spot right here. Can't forget my Nifty 50. This houses my filters. Well, my two filters, the UV filter I have and also the ND filter. Keeps things a little organized for me. So let's just put this like right there. This is my Manfrotto tripod. It's really small. I need a bigger tripod. Um, but it does what it's supposed to do, but I definitely need a bigger tripod for this bigger setup. But hey, gotta work what you got. This is my Pelican case. It keeps my SD card. So I have one there, one in the camera, and then one other one. So three will be going with me to Mexico. So let's just put this like right there. Mm, mm, yeah, right there. I have this spare battery and then I have one in the camera so that's two that I'm going to be taking right now. Um, I don't think it's going to, no, maybe right there. I think that would be better. Yeah. Keep it right there. And this is just the battery charger. And this is my microphone, the Rode Video Micro, I think. And then my lacy rugged hard drive, um, just to have more space. I'm not bringing a laptop, but hey, my friend will bring a laptop, so that's right there. I'm bringing this little light just for when it gets dark and I need more light. And then I'll just bring my little Apple charger mabob things that go into the wall. Yeah, Apple charger wall mabobs. All right, so now we can just close this on up. Um, it closes from the front, which once again, I do not like. I prefer it from the back. And then I keep a pen, just, you know, just in case. Just need a pen every now and then. One of my favorite pens. Highly, highly recommend. This is the Manfrotto tripod. It doesn't deconstruct that well, so just gotta kind of play with it. Um, the ball head right now is being used for this top down shot so that's why it's not on but you just got to kind of play with it and just kind of move things around and that's pretty much it when I come back I'll tell you guys what I used 
um, if I used everything. But let's go. We're on our way to Mexico. I'm back from Mexico and I did a really good job in packing. There's only a handful of things I actually did not use. Like I bought, a, I brought a pair of heels and I knew that I was not gonna use it and I was planning on not bringing heels but then the day I was leaving like literally, as I was walking out the door, I just saw a pair of heels and I was like, let me just throw it in there just in case. So I knew I was not gonna wear them. I didn't wear them, meaning it was just a waste of time. So I would have just not brought them because I just don't really care for heels that much, especially like stilettos. So that went to brought. Um, this hat, I went to brought just because it was too small for my head. Usually it's like a perfect fit, but because I have braids right now, it made it super, super tight. So I didn't wear it, but it definitely would have been helpful because it was like disrespectfully hot in Mexico. And so this would have definitely helped me with just like battling with the sun. But just for this trip, just because of my hairstyle, I shouldn't have really packed it. So I didn't use it. What else did I not really use? I brought some makeup and I don't have that much makeup in general. And I knew I was not gonna wear makeup like that, but I literally didn't use it enough to really justify a space for it. Even though it was like a very, very small amount, I really feel like I shouldn't have brought it because it was just taking up space and I just used it like one time and I didn't even use all of it. So next time I just won't bring it because it's just a waste of time. What else did I not use? Oh, like my tampons and my pads. I didn't use them and I knew I really was not gonna need them, but I think just as a woman, that's like a one thing that you should definitely bring just in case. So I definitely did not use them, but I would bring them again. And I would bring one less bra because I really didn't use all of my bras. Um, so one or two less bras would have been sufficient for me. Um, but everything else, I used everything else. In terms of like my camera gear, I used everything. Um, I wish I had a drone and I wish that I had a GoPro, but you can't pack what you don't have. So I was fresh out of luck, but everything else I used it. So in that, that aspect, I was super, super good and super happy that I did bring it because I actually debated on, debated on not bringing any of my camera gear, but I'm really, really happy that I brought it. I actually broke, ugh, I actually broke my ND filter, so that was unfortunate, so ugh, I have to buy another one. Um, that's really, really unfortunate, but it happens, so just gotta replace it, and yeah, that's all I can do. What else? Um, I just enjoyed my time in general, and I'm super happy with uh, my trip and my packing. Uh, last thing is, I probably maybe would've 
chosen a different bag just because I didn't expect to have to walk from the airport, not the airport, from the bus to our hotel and from the hotel to our bus. It was super, super hot and super uncomfortable. So in that regard, this was just not a fun thing to carry. Um, even though it was pretty light, it was just still like not fun to walk with it on plus my camera bag in the heat. Yeah. So in that regard, maybe I would pick a different bag, but everything else this bag was amazing. It was just that I didn't expect to have to walk that distance. It wasn't a far distance just because of the heat and everything like that. Um, that's the only reason why I would say like maybe I shouldn't have, but all in all, I'm really, really happy. I had so much fun. Like I had so much fun. I can't complain, but that's all I have for this video. Um, if you like this video, definitely like and subscribe if you have not subscribed already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.